Would you pass me your compass? Sorry, I left it in another dimension. Do we have pheromones here? I didn't bring a pen, this is desperation. Where can I download all this stuff? In the 80% dump or in the 20% dump? I'll flip a coin. Do you have one? Oh, Sanyanka, I'm dancing with the Ruji now. Security, Nations, General That's just a memory. Your heart is healed now. You know, if you're like an animal, every cell starts shaking. You become headless. I heard a recording that said, my sisters and I would go insane. And we would be put away in an asylum. I heard a recording that said, me and my sisters would go insane. Did you hear it? Is that in the future or the past? And if I wear white, will it purify my body or am I dead? Or perhaps insane. The body has two poles. The head is for the intake. Jess Curtis and Kathleen Hermsdorf, obviously, students still working together, um, Kim Apano as well, um, and myriad other people who uh, Keith was happily listing for me earlier in the evening. Um, one of the other reasons that I wanted to bring her work is actually for its intersection with my own practice and something that I'm just interested in as a question in dance, which is about um, energetic practice. So that it's not so much about the movement per se, but about what is the energetic state that we're cultivating to create work. Um, that's a larger topic, I'm not gonna go into it too much more than that, but the reason that Sarah is a really interesting example of this for me is because she still does choreography, something that looks like quote unquote dance, which is one of Mary's questions, right? <laughs> we were looking at the video for, oh look, we're dance, somebody's moving, right? So um, that's just an interesting thing to me because she's really working from a different direction and at least from my own experience of seeing her work and also um, working with her um, physically in person, it really comes through. So I'm just interested in that question as well. start with passing this out because I thought Jessica could take the time to, because she has some manipulating to do. Or at least hand it to you so you can pass around. I like going in two directions. The teacher in me. <laughs> and any extras you just leave on the end, right? <laughs> So I chose to present Robert Moses, artistic director and choreographer Robert Moses' is kin. Chose this artist from my short list because I had many, and he was actually a, a replacement, I had someone else. Um, I admire him. One thing I love about Robert is uh, whenever I run into him, his brother always has a book about this thick that he's just hanging, you know, it's just in his hand, thousand pages or more, I'm sure, with some esoteric title, right? I'm always asking, like, what are you reading? Because it's always some way out title. And I tease him about it, like, are you really reading that book? You're just carrying around, people think you're smart. <laughs> but um, the truth of the matter is, he's, he's a thinker, and he's very quiet and reserved, I know him well, uh, observes everything. And um, he's a great listener. And I know that too, because I'm always chewing off in his ear, he's a great listener. Um, 
Uh, and I mention that because it has a lot to do with who he is as an artist. He's very responsive to um, what's going on in his community and what's going on in the world. And um, especially now, his, his work is, um, he's taking time to really illustrate that through his choreography. He's been doing work for a while. Um, his work has evolved a great deal. And um, I especially have been really fascinated with the work he's been presenting since about 19, uh, I'm sorry, 2004. Well, I love the Scongeal, which was in 97, the solo piece. But his group work from about two, well, 2003 on, I've been really fascinated with the things that he's been putting on stage. I love as an artist that he um, incorporates his African-American heritage, but through his movement vernacular, um, makes work that is inclusive and the term universal, which is a, one of those terms, right? I write that one down. <laughs> and, um, and accessible. I feel like it reaches a lot of folks. It resonates with folks. Word of mouth is one of those pieces in 2003 that I loved, full evening of work. Um, the autobiography of James Baldwin. And another work was Cause, and that's the excerpt I'm going to choose to show this evening. And um, we can do that now. Darn. Um, Cause is a collaboration with Youth Speaks. This is one of the dance excerpts. It was an evening length, and there were a number of poems that were written, original poetry by the youth. The piece was about hate, and the movement was in response not only to the poetry, but to the energy of, of hate and, and what that conjured for him as a choreographer and his expression through the movement. His vernacular, um, it's got the modern dance feel. He certainly incorporates um, what people consider the hip hop uh, vernacular. It's, people have said that about his work. It was a really great collaboration with um, Youth Speaks. He's collaborating more and more with, with artists and, and I love that about his work as well, like with the President's Daughter. And this new piece that he's going to be presenting at Stanford He's, um, I wanted to actually jot it down, the professor's name, because I knew it wouldn't hold it. John R. Bickford is a linguistics professor, and he's working with Robert Moses, and they are creating a work that um, is called Jokes Like That Can Get You Killed. <laughs> and it's in response to um, the media um, spotlighting numerous um, moments of racial epithets. Um, coming across from comedians, actors, radio personalities, and this piece is in response to that. There's also gonna be symposia and um, things like that discussing um, this idea. And I put the description on the back so that um, you could take a look at, this is his actual writing. Um, since he can't be here, these are his own words. Um, I did a little description and then this is right from his source material um, for getting support for the work on the back. And then I also um, put the dates that 